What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to save over $1,000 on a brand new iMac. So the amount of money that you save is actually going to depend on what model and what specs you want on your iMac. So me personally, I saved 1,030 bucks or so on this iMac right here. It's actually right out of frame. You can not see it right there. There's the top of it. But I figured I'd share this with you guys because this is an enormous amount of money that you can save just by doing this very simple thing. But before we get into that and I show you the process and everything, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. So Videoblocks is running a creator to creator campaign and I want to show you guys what I made using some footage and a template directly from their website. So go ahead and check it out. So this was actually really easy to create and I've never even used After Effects before. So I actually sneak peeked this video in a previous video asking you guys if you enjoyed it, if you liked it, and I got a pretty good response. So I'm thinking about using this for the intro for all my videos, so let me know if you think I should. But there's over 3 million video clips of stock 4K footage, motion backgrounds, and After Effects templates to use on video blocks. So if you think this is something that you just want to toy around with and see what they have, then you can click on the link in the description below and get a free 7 day trial and then save 40% on all 3 million clips. So with that 7 day free trial, create something special and share it with hashtag creator to creator. Alright, so now let's go ahead and save some money on an iMac. So first thing I want to do is take you to the Apple website here. Alright, so here I am on the Apple website as you can see and this is the iMac portion of the website. So let's go ahead and just click on buy and then we'll build our own iMac and I'll show you exactly where we're going to save all of our money. So like I said, the amount of money that you're going to save is going to be dependent on what model you actually purchase. And I'll show you the range that you have here, but we're just going to go ahead and use the one that I purchased, which is the 27 inch, and we're going to select this one right here. All right, so now we're going to build our iMac. So if we want to upgrade our processor, then we would just click right here, and it's only 200 bucks to upgrade that. And then right down here for memory, you can see this gets pretty expensive. So we're going to skip that for a second, and then you can decide what storage you want. I got the three terabyte fusion drive, and then you can select what mouse or trackpad that you want along with your keyboard. So right up here is where we're going to save all of our money in memory or the RAM. So you can see that by default, the iMac comes with eight gigs of RAM. Now I don't know about you guys, but if you're spending $2,600 on a computer that you're gonna be using for probably professional applications, then you're gonna need more than eight gigs of RAM. So if you wanna bump it up to 16 gigs of RAM, that's gonna cost you 200 bucks. If you wanna bump it up to twice that amount to 32 gigs, we're talking $600. And if you wanna go one step further up to 64 gigs of memory, they are marking that price up to $1,400 for 64 gigs of mem. Now I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever bought RAM, RAM is not that expensive. It's not that expensive. It's not $1,400 for 64 gigs of mem. So if you actually select the $1,400 uh, 64 gig mem upgrade, we're talking about a $4,000 machine. In $1,400 with tax and everything included, we're talking about $1,515.50 for memory. That's a lot of money for memory. So you're probably thinking, well, yeah, that's the Apple tax. That's what you have to do in order to get the upgrades that you want on hardware from Apple. Well, more or less, that's actually usually true. But with the iMac, you actually don't. The iMac is one of those unicorn machines that you can actually upgrade yourself from Apple. There's not many like that. This actually might be the only one right now. So when there's an opportunity to save $1,000 on a $4,000 machine, that's like getting a 25% off sale on an iMac. And Apple doesn't do sales. So let's take a look at Amazon and see what we can find. All right, so here on Amazon, you can see this is a crucial 16 gigabyte kit. So this is two eight gig sticks of memory that you can use on your iMac. So this is DDR4, 2400 megahertz, 260 pin memory. So that's what you need to use in your iMac. Now it doesn't matter what iMac you pick up. The type of memory is always going to be the same. The only thing that's going to change depending on which iMac you pick up is the maximum capacity that your iMac can actually handle. So this one that's right here can handle 64 gigs. So I purchased 64 gigs. But basically, if you're getting any iMac with more than eight gigs of RAM, you need to buy the RAM separately because you're saving money. You're saving a lot of money. 
Now, since the iMac already comes with eight gigs of RAM, that's two four gigabyte sticks, then you can actually grab two other four gigabyte sticks and you can stick that in and you have 16 gigs of RAM. So instead of paying $200 to upgrade your RAM to 18 gigs on your iMac, you can just buy this eight gig kit right here for $65. Now there's four slots in the iMac. So if you wanted to get 32 gigs of RAM, then you would actually just purchase two of these 16 gigabyte kits. So there would be two 16, two 16, 32 in four slots. And we're talking $228 rather than Apple's $600. Now, if you wanted to step that up and you got a 27 inch iMac and you wanted to really max it out at 64 gigs, which is what I did, then you can purchase two 32 gigabyte kits, which each stick is 16 gigs. So what we would be looking at here is $500 for RAM rather than $1,500 for RAM. That's a nice little price cut if you ask me. And I actually purchased this when it was on sale uh, a few days ago and it was actually $218 per 32 gigabyte kit. So it was only total around $480 that I spent on this RAM right here. Now the next thing you're probably asking yourself is, okay, I can buy this stuff and I can save, you know, upwards of a thousand bucks, but I don't really know a whole lot about computers. I don't know how to take them apart or anything like that. Well, I can tell you right now, upgrading the RAM on an iMac is insanely, insanely simple. It's nothing to be afraid of. You don't need any type of technical expertise or anything like that. You just literally need to, well, finish watching this video and I'll show you exactly how to do it because it is crazy easy. Now, of course, if you guys wanna check out any of this RAM, I'll be sure to put it in the link in the description below for you guys so you can click on it, check it out. And I'll check periodically on these RAM kits just to make sure that the links in the description below are the cheapest RAM that you can actually purchase that's obviously still compatible. But now I wanna show you guys how easy it is to upgrade the RAM on an iMac. All right, so this is the back of the iMac. So you can actually see right through here where the power cord actually connects, there's a little button right above that that you're actually going to depress in order to open up the gate that's right above here. So here's a closer look at that button right there. And then if we go ahead and spin the iMac, you can see the door that's right here. This is what actually encloses the RAM. So I'm just gonna take a little tool like this and you can use whatever you want just to depress this button in order to open up this door right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see once you push in that button, this little door just pops open. And then you don't have to be shy, you can just pull it all out and you'll be able to see that ram in there. Now you'll see this little lever right here which is actually a release on both sides. So if you just pull out just like that, you can lower down those levers and you'll see that RAM right there. So you can see those two sticks of RAM that are right here and right here. So we're just going to tug on these and they should just come right out. Just like that, there's one. And here's the other one. So here we have the other RAM that we're going to install, the ones that I purchased. So we'll go ahead and slot in the first one here. really easy to install all you have to do now is push these levers up into the iMac grab the little door and then shove it back in now when you're pushing this in it does sound like you're crunching something you're not crunching anything that's just the way that it sounds when you push that RAM door back on and just to show you guys that this did work after the install We'll go ahead and click on about this Mac and then you can see that we have 64 gigabytes of RAM right here. So you can see right there that it's insanely easy to install new RAM on an iMac. I mean, there is literally absolutely no reason whatsoever anybody should ever purchase RAM on an iMac from Apple. There's no reason. The markup is just absolutely insane. $1,500 for 64 gigs of RAM when you can purchase it for $500 or less on Amazon. 
The only reason anybody would be purchasing that RAM, I think, is because they have no idea that they can upgrade the RAM themselves. Either that or they just have way too much money to blow and it's easier for them to spend $1,500 on RAM than buying it and installing it themselves, which I don't think there's many people out there like that. But for the people that are uninformed and didn't know that you could upgrade the RAM, I hope this video helped you guys out. I'm all about saving money anytime that I can, especially on Apple products, which is not very often. You usually have to buy these things at full price no matter what. But like I said, the iMac is somewhat of a unicorn in Apple hardware that we're still able to upgrade. Now the iMac Pro that's coming out in December, that's actually gonna have soldered RAM and we're not going to be able to upgrade it. So we can't use that trick on that iMac, but this one, absolutely save your money. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Of course, if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything Apple, jailbreak, anything tech or whatever else I wanna cover, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.